Good day YouTube. Now this is just a bit of a fun video on a comparison between the latest release of Ubuntu on the left here, Ubuntu Disco Dingo version 19.04 recently came out and then on the right we've got Linux Mint 19.1 which has been out for a little bit of a while now so going through a pretty fun unscripted non-scientific review of the two I'll go through these now and uh, let you know about them so starting off at a glance uh, you might think that they look similar if you're fairly new to the Linux uh, world but uh, on the left hand side we've got uh, the fairly recent a uh, new GNOME interface, so the GNOME desktop interface here. Uh, recently Ubuntu has updated from their own uh, homegrown Unity interface, so this is getting a bit more of the norm like most Linux distributions, but it has, has got a bit of a Ubuntu flavor as you can see here. On the right hand side we have Linux Mint 19.1 with uh, the Cinnamon desktop interface also homegrown and uh, the way that they've set it up in the last or oh, they've, they've actually started to champion this look in the last uh, distribution release or two in the last year or so so the latest release uh, called Cinnamon 4.x 4.0 something or other there and uh, they've given it a bit more of a Windows-esque look a Windows 7, 8 or even 10 depending on how you feel about me saying that there Moving on, uh, as with the desktop interface the, the secondary thing of nature there for desktops is the the file manager also known as the window manager now on the left here for Ubuntu 19.04 we've got something here called files gnome files also known as Nautilus so it has been around for some time Ubuntu has seemed to stick to their guns with this one which is nice to see it's a nice I wouldn't say clean look but a good look to it there uh, the, on the right hand side with Linux Mint 19.1 it's definitely cleaner and crisper somehow simpler it's, it's, it's just easier to see and easier to read in my opinion there although I do use Ubuntu as my da main daily driver so a bit of a shame on that front perhaps uh, moving on uh, it comes down to the kernels as well so this is where it sometimes gets interesting guys so Ubuntu 19.04 uh, or in fact any recent or the latest release of any Ubuntu always seems to have the latest kernel release or one of the closest two and at the moment we're running on 5.0 or 5.x as I like to call it whereas you'll see with Linux Mint it's always running on an older version and part of the reason for that is it's actually based on Ubuntu an old version of Ubuntu so it's actually based on the the long-term service release of Ubuntu which is called 18.04 so as you can see the kernel here uh, goes up to 4.18 which is a, a shy bit short of the latest uh, kernel release that uh, Ubuntu 19.04 Disco Dingo has uh, moving on we have uh, I guess you could say there is a little bit of a difference of icon packs that sort of thing there something that I don't get into too much with these kinds of videos also what I would uh, definitely say is with the uh, the software as well not something that I get into as with any version of Linux for the most part you can download whatever you want so not something that I like to even even uh, hint at these days that much and last but not least I think that we always need to do a, a hardware usage comparison of source to see if it's topping out if it's going okay and this is where it really gets interesting you'll see the RAM on the left hand side for Ubuntu 19.04 uh, on load up so nothing's really open here it's uh, using about eight to nine hundred megabytes of RAM straight off the bat whereas one thing I really enjoy about uh, Linux Mint uh, all of the old versions and the current version they always sit on about four five hundred up to six hundred uh, megabytes so clearly about twenty thirty percent less RAM which is really really interesting to see it's, it's just such a common thing that I've seen over the years they've really managed to optimize even their new version of their desktop interface to be just yeah a lot less using on the RAM there which is really fantastic to, to say so a lot resource uh, a lot less resource heavy as opposed to Ubuntu and I actually do run this on a on an old laptop top and it just runs beautifully the latest release so something that I'm always very happy to see very excited about but uh, that's pretty much it guys that is uh, my quick review or comparison uh, I guess talking about some of the the key differences and the the, the similarities there as well but I just thought I'd uh, quickly show you that one there guys so appreciate your time thanks for watching uh, please like comment subscribe all those nice things thanks again cheers